Welcome to Pittsburgh, Marcus Golden. So, it is official. The Pittsburgh Steelers have signed edge rusher Marcus Golden to a one-year contract. Yesterday, it was announced that the Steelers are bringing in the edge rusher for a workout or tryout to see if he was healthy enough to be on the team. And obviously, the Steelers found that he was healthy enough. And today, the Steelers have signed him to a one-year contract per Adam Schefter. So, the Pittsburgh Steelers are adding more depth behind TJ Watt and Alex Highsmith to the edge rushing group adding Marcus Golden. And right now, he's 32 years old, and throughout his entire career, he's been an effective pass rusher. In 2022, his numbers were down, but he did play in every game, 17 games. And that's what you like to see for a guy who's getting older in his career. Even though he's 32 years old, he'd still played in 17 games for the Cardinals and started 14 of them. He finished with 48 tackles and 2.5 sacks. But the year before, in 2021, his numbers were elite. He finished the season with 11 sacks, and he wasn't even a starter. He was a rotational pass rusher. So, throughout his career, he has 47 career sacks, and has hit triple digit in sacks three times in his career. In 2016, he finished with 12.5 sacks, and in 2019, he finished with 10. In 2021, like I said, he finished with 11. So, his numbers and production throughout his career, in terms of sack quantity, has been really elite, hitting triple digits, like I said, three times. And now, behind TJ Watt and Alex Highsmith, he should become the number one, the number three edge rusher on the team and the number one backup, like I said, behind TJ Watt and Alex Highsmith. Yes, there's other names on the team right now in the mix, including Nick Herbig, who was a fourth round pick this year, and also a guy who the series have cut in the past, but has been a draft pick of theirs, Quincy Ruscha in the sixth round a couple years back. But right now, based off his career and his production in his career and how the Steers like having a veteran guy, and just in case if TJ Watt gets injured again like he did last year with a pec injury and he was out basically half the year, now the Steers have a guy who's been in the league and has experience in the league. If the Steers were just going into the season with Nick Herbig or Quincy Roche, those guys don't really have much experience in the league. Yes, Quincy Roche does because he played with the New York Giants last year for like 17 games, but Nick Herbig, he's never played a down in the NFL. Yes, he should be the fourth edge rusher, and Quincy Roche might be a practice squad guy or the fifth edge rusher, depending on how many guys they carry on the team. But now, having Marcus Golden be the backup behind TJ Watt and Alex Highsmith, it's a good spot to be in. Like I said, injuries happen, and stuff happens, and having a guy who has experience, who has played a lot of years in the NFL, makes sense for the Steelers. I was expecting a guy I wanted personally, I wanted Justin Houston to be on the team because the last two years, even though he's older, he's only 34 years old, but Golden is 32 years old. I believe Justin Houston would have been a better fit for the Steelers. But anyway, the Steelers signed Marcus Golden. And this makes sense because DeMarvin Leal last year, when TJ Watt went down, he had to drop a little bit of weight because he's used to playing on the defensive end. But he had to drop a little bit of weight so he could play more edge, as, as an edge rusher. And you've seen that. When TJ Watt went down with an injury, a pec injury, DeMarvin Leal kicked out to outside linebacker, edge rusher, and had to rush off the edge. But now, obviously, the Steelers drafted him as a defensive end, and now they can play him more at his natural position and get used to that position. He's going into his second year, and now hopefully he's able to find a rhythm, being at one position and not having to move all over the defensive line so young in his career, only in his second year. So, let's see what Marcus Golden brings to the team, but I believe this will shore up the edge rushing group, and now the Pittsburgh Steelers don't really have to worry about the edge rusher that much. Now they have young guys, they have guys behind TJ Watt, Alex Highsmith, they have the young guys in Nick Herbig and Quincy Roche to develop, and now they have a depth piece and also a veteran in Marcus Golden, and now Marcus Golden, along with TJ Watt, can mentor the young guys as well, because now they've been in the league a long time and they have put up production in this league. So let's see what the edge rushing group does. The Pittsburgh Steelers are always one of the top of the leagues in sacks because they have always put up 50 plus sacks. Last season was a down year, obviously, because TJ Watt was out for half the year. The Steers weren't the number one team in sacks, but in years past when everyone was healthy, they're always the number one team. So let's see if they could get back to being that number one team. And also, OTAs have started. So let's see how the depth chart lays out. 
Let's see who's getting number one reps. Let's see who's getting number two reps, number three reps, number four reps. It all depends on that. We're so early in the process anyway. Me personally, I said in a previous video when I was talking about Justin Houston, I expected a guy, especially a veteran who's played a lot of years in the NFL, I thought maybe the Steelers would have waited until later in July and maybe a veteran wouldn't have wanted to sign until later because they wanted, didn't want to go through training camp and the whole workouts because it might be tough on the body. But I guess Marcus Golden wanted to get in there early, wanted to see if he could actually be a contributor to the team. And because the more reps you get, the more likely that you'll be playing a lot more so obviously he wanted to get in there a lot early to show the coaches and show the team what he could bring to the table and now hopefully he's able to succeed with the team and be like a Melvin Ingram for the Steelers remember when Melvin Ingram was here and was a third pass rusher for the Steelers the Pittsburgh Steelers defensive coordinator was able to do a lot of things with Melvin Ingram Alex Highsmith and T.J. Watt he used a lot of three groups where they would have all three of them on the field at the same time especially against the Ravens who are run heavy team they would have guys over the defensive end so they would have two outside linebackers but they would also have an outside linebacker up the middle so they were using a lot of three linebackers with Melvin Ingram when he was on the team so let's see if that's the same thing with Marcus Golden let's see if the Steers use another outside linebacker in the field and go with a three set outside linebacker group with Marcus Golden now instead of Melvin Ingram. Yes, Melvin Ingram asked for a trade, but he was very successful in his time here as a rotational piece because he was able to keep guys healthy, he was able to keep guys active and not tired because the Steers were able to rotate with TJ Watt. If he was tired, put in Melvin Ingram. If Alex Highsmith was tired, put in Melvin Ingram. And all these guys were fresh. And now hopefully with Marcus Golden being added to the team, a guy who's a veteran, a guy who's been productive in this league, hopefully that's the same thing this year as it was in years back before Melvin Ingram asked to a trade and end up being on the Kansas City Chiefs. Hopefully this year's edge rushing group is able to stay healthy now for a whole season and maybe TJ Watt doesn't have so much of a load on himself to be productive that he doesn't get injured with a freak injury. So, like I said, this year's added outside linebacker that hopefully can be successful in this league. But let me know down in the comments below. How do, you about this, how do you feel about the Pittsburgh Steelers signing an edge rusher to the team? One in Marcus Golden. Do you like Marcus Golden? Do you think he could be a contributor to the Steelers? Do you like what he brings to the table? Or do you not like what he brings to the table? Did you want them to sign someone else like Justin Houston or an outside guy? Let me know down in the comments below. Me personally, I don't believe this is going to be the last signing by Omar Khan and the Pittsburgh Steelers as well before the 90-man roster is set and the Steelers' official roster is set. I believe the Steelers are still going to be looking at inside linebacker because right now they really lack depth in that area and really only have three guys who have been productive in this league. And the Steelers right now at running back, they really only have two guys in Najee Harris and Jalen Warren. I believe they're still going to be looking at inside linebacker and running back to add the team. And we all know that Omar Khan is never done. It seems like every week there's always a new guy being added to the team. So if the new guy comes in inside linebacker and running back, I'm going to be covering it. So stay tuned. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel demo as well. If you like serious content, analysis, and reports, like the video. Turn on post notifications down below for the channel as well. So you get notified whenever I post the next series video. I've been covering all of free agency. I covered all the draft, all the undrafted guys, everyone this year signed, traded for, and beyond. I covered it. So if you want to see the introductions to all the new players that now we have on the team, go watch on the channel. It's on the channel. Go watch it. And everything in the future from OTAs, minicamp, preseason, and beyond this regular season, everything. Just know I'm covering it all. So if you want to stay tuned for that, like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys all later. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.